welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a tag video. I thought this was a really fun one. Um, when I saw, I believe Angelica did it and a few other people on YouTube did it as well. This one was created by Smokey Glow. I've seen her on the Half Cousins podcast and every once in a while I will watch her My Thoughts videos because I find them very interesting to watch. So anyway, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and link her video down below so you guys can check her out. Also, if you are a small YouTuber, definitely go ahead and create this video because everyone loves a good tag video. I mean, really. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the questions. I have her video pulled up here on my phone. So let's see here. First question, how many years have you been on YouTube? Technically, I created my channel in 2011 and I was actually uploading in 2011. I think I was in college still. No, I know I was in college. I was in my junior or like senior year of college and I was living life. I'm pretty sure I was like single or something and I was really into fashion before I was into makeup. And so I had this like fashion blog and I kind of used YouTube a little bit, wasn't very good. I think I still have my first YouTube video on my channel. If you want to go back that far, it's definitely on there. And I did film a not very good version of me reacting to my first YouTube video as well. I'll try and remember to link all of that stuff down below. But yeah, I've had a YouTube channel since 2011 and I always was interested in creating content. My problem was being consistent and I was also not very good at the video side of technology. Okay, second question. What was your very first video about? My very first video was about um, everything I put on my face. I think I even called it like everything I put on my face. And it was just me talking about makeup products that I was using at the time. And it's kind of fun because that was right when I had discovered Urban Decay. So pretty much everything I was putting on my face was Urban Decay. And yeah, I don't know. It's just like a fun video. Okay, so number three is who is your dream collab? This one was like instantaneously in my brain. I was like, Angelica, I think I would love to collaborate with Angelica. I feel like I could just ask her if she'd want to collab with me, but I don't have an idea worthy of collaboration with her right now. <laughs> like, let me just like explain to, in my brain what it's like to ask people to collab with me. Because some people are amazingly good at collabing and reaching out to YouTubers, um, you know, on Instagram and YouTube and all that stuff. And there's YouTubers that I watch that I feel like I know, but really we don't actually know each other in real life. So having a online relationship with somebody is much different than having an in real life relationship with someone. And sometimes I have a hard time creating like rapport with people. Like I feel like I can talk to you about like makeup. It's weird, I'm weird. You guys, I think I just overthink this whole situation, but I feel like I have YouTube friends, but I also wish they were like my friends in real life. Like I wish I actually like lived down the street from like, you know, Lacey and like Angelica and Paulina and Kat from Rented Fashion and Melissa Gold and like, all of these cool people that are like YouTube friends that I wish I could meet and like know in real life. Um, but yeah, automatically I just would, I would love to collab with Angelica, but I always feel like you have to have like, I don't know. I want like my collabs to be very like mutually, be like benef not mutually beneficial, but mutual. Like I don't want to be the one that's like asking and then them be like, Oh yeah, sure. Like you're, you know, at 2K, like, why would I want to collab with you, you know? And uh, yeah, so I'm always like really weird about it. I don't know, you guys. I always like, even when I was on the Half Cousins podcast, like I was talking to Lacey on Instagram and I was like, hey, like I have this idea for the Half Cousins podcast. I was like, I can message you and Georgia about it. And then luckily like Lacey had already like cleared it with Georgia for me. And I was like, thank you so much for asking her because I don't know like if my idea is like good enough. I don't know. It's weird, right? It's so weird. It's just me. I'm telling you guys, probably nobody else feels this way. It's just me. Um, the other person I would love to collab with is Makeup Struggles because she's so cool. Like she's like one of those people, I swear, like in my brain, it's like, I'll be like, oh my gosh, like I love this papagraph palette. And she'll be like, yeah, it's cool, whatever. <laughs> I'm just like cringe. like. 
I'm such a dork. Anyway, I love Makeup Struggles and Angelica. I think those are like my all-time favorite YouTubers just because of like their vibe. They're so different, um, but I love them both. And I don't know. I just think they're very like authentic and beautiful and they just inspire me. So number four, what would it mean to you to make it on YouTube? So mm, I don't know. I always try to approach my YouTube channel as a hobby. I think it's just important and it helps you stay grounded. And for me, for a long time, it was one of those things where, you know, you do work hard on your YouTube channel and it's like, you see all these other channels growing and then you're like, you kind of get down on yourself because it's like, well, like, do people not my, like my content? Um, you know, am I not doing enough, like, popular trending videos? Da, 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 da. Like you go through so many reasons why people, you know, your your channel is just not everyone's cup of tea, which is fine. Um, so I always try to approach it as a hobby, but I have gained like an incy wincy bit of traction, which is awesome. Like it makes me so excited. Like I know it sounds really weird, but I love seeing my subscriber count go up, and I love seeing like my YouTube view counts go up because. It's not like, I'm not sitting there going like, oh my god, I can make so much money on AdSense. It's just like, oh my gosh, like that's one more person that enjoyed my video. And it just like makes my day because I know how much joy YouTube brings me. So the fact that like somebody watched my video and commented on it and like all of that just like makes me so jazzed. So I would just like love to just continue to grow. It just makes me happy. Um, and just like meeting new people, I always tell you guys there's people that are subscribed to my channel and I have like conversations with them in my comments like people that I want to be like hey if this isn't too creepy like can we text because like I actually want to be your friend in real life because we have so many of the same products or we just have the same love for certain you know makeup items or brands it's weird but like there's subscribers that like I recognize their usernames um and like I expect to see them comment on each video because they're just like my friends so I don't know that would that would just growing my channel that way I think would be how I would make really feel like I've made it and the other thing I really liked actually Hannah's answer in this question is it's not like ever gonna be my full-time job but it is nice to have extra cushion because I already do work full time, if you guys don't know this about me. <laughs> I work full time, I have a job, and me and my husband do work really hard. Um, we, you know, have a house, and we have some pets, and like we have plans in our life that we would really like to accomplish. We both love to travel. We've never actually really taken like any big trips. We have a big one coming up in February that we're really excited for. We're going to France together. Um, kind of as like a very belated honeymoon as well as a 30th birthday um, like celebration for me and so I'm so excited for that and the reason we couldn't travel previously is because I um, was in the process of getting my green card so I actually have a video on that in case you guys are curious about that um, so I'm an immigrant and my husband's an immigrant too and being an immigrant is not cheap it's very expensive and so just like having extra money I when I was in college I worked two jobs so I worked a 40 hour job and then I would work retail after I was done with work and I don't know exactly why I did that but it's always nice to have extra money I mean nobody is ever gonna be like oh my gosh like I don't need extra money you can always put it towards something and so I'm not I'm like it's I could never like have too much money that sounds I don't mean it in like a I don't mean it in like a greedy way like I want all the money but it's it's nice because we do have a lot of expenses we're um you know still trying to establish ourselves and things like that so I mean anything I can make extra to put towards travel or paying off bills or just even being able to maybe someday um moving into a bigger house or you know kind of even looking towards like family planning like there's certain things I want to have in my life before we have kids and things like that so yeah I mean if YouTube could help with that just a little bit like provide a little cushion for us 
I would be pretty stoked about that. So I really liked Hannah's answer. I mean, I thought it was very honest. I don't ever see this as being my job and I don't want to like take money to review stuff and st nothing like that. But if like my AdSense were to grow and I could, you know, have some extra money to put towards buying makeup or, you know, treating us to something fun, that would be cool. <laughs> Number five, what is your end goal on YouTube? Uh, I don't know necessarily that you can say that there's an end goal. I feel like YouTube is evolving. I mean, we could technically all be like youtube list like tomorrow for all we know you know all of a sudden there could be a new social media that comes along and nobody wants to watch youtube anymore which happens i mean i feel like it's happening right now like nobody wants to watch youtube anymore but you, you know i mean it could be a thing where at some point you know people aren't interested in beauty content that's not how they want to absorb it as like sitting here me talking to the camera maybe it's like more vlog style videos that will be popular and I mean they are whatever um, but uh, so I don't feel like it's an end goal I feel like it's always evolving for me I don't you know I don't see it as like a ah one day I'm gonna have a million subscribers and that'll be you know when I can just coast <laughs> okay number six what is the hardest part about YouTube honestly for me I think the hardest part is content creating it it does take a lot of time I feel like I would love to do more reviews and like three looks one palette like people request that stuff and I honestly don't know how people have the time to do all of that well I do know because I'm sure they're sacrificing a million other things in their lives to bring you guys that content so just want to remind everyone always be grateful <laughs> for that um you know give people's videos likes and comment you know i mean you think of, of the amount of time it takes so for me it's hard because it's always trying to balance work spending time with my husband you know doing stuff with my friends and then also wanting to film because i do have a pretty decent track record of keeping up with my schedule. I usually upload every other day. So I do about, you know, 15, 16 videos a month, which is a decent amount. I used to at one point try to film every day and it was just a mess. Like I do like to batch film. That helps me out a lot because then I have videos to edit throughout the week and I could just upload. But yeah, my struggle is always this time, more time, and then the other thing that's really hard for me right now, I feel like, is that there's so much product coming out and I honestly can't keep up. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's the, I'm sure the monetary factor is huge for a lot of YouTubers. And it is for me too. I've come to the point where it's like, okay, Karen, like, I'd, like you're no. So uh, that's an issue, money, um, having more of it and wanting to put it into makeup when I shouldn't be doing that. And the other thing is like, I have all this makeup and I swear it's like the next minute it's outdated. Like, you know, not outdated, but it's like, there's already like eight other palettes that I'm thinking about wanting when right here, right now I have the Pat McGrath. Like these are brand new palettes and I'm already like, ooh, but that new Huda palette though, like it's ridiculous. So that's definitely hard about YouTube. Number seven, what is the best part about YouTube? I feel like I've already kind of covered this in some of my other answers, but I think it's meeting the creators, meet, meeting other small YouTubers. Um, meeting new YouTubers is definitely new to me. I know some people, like I said, there's just some people are, that are so great at forming um, these like online friendships. And I know like, I know a few, well, I know one Sri Lankan blogger, my friend Nethmi, We've, we actually just met for the first time when I was home this year, but we had never met in person and we've kept in touch for years, which is crazy um, and cool. And I really like her. So if you want to check out her Instagram, I'll try and remember to link it down below. Um, but other than that, uh, it's just hard to incorporate, um, you know, friendships. And so the fact that I get to talk to some of the YouTubers, like, the fact that I can message Angelica and she'll reply back to me it like blows my mind or the other day um, I had reached out to Hannah uh, Louise Posner I think is her name when I first found her channel it was before like um, everyone kind of started talking about her because I've heard her being mentioned a ton 
on YouTube now because she's doing like the year long no buy and she's like amazing and beautiful and just everything. And so I had sent her an Instagram message and I was like, hey, just so you know, I love your channel. It's so inspiring to me, blah, blah, blah. And I don't think she replied or maybe she did, but it was like a little bit later. But then the other day she like messaged me and we had like a whole conversation about something. And I was like, I can't believe I'm talking to this person. Like, I think they're so cool. And so all of these people that I get to talk to on YouTube, it's just like really fun. So I think it'd be really fun to meet everyone someday. And then the other exciting thing is the subscribers. Um, I just consider them my friends. Um, and yeah, it's just really freaking cool to have the conversations that I get to have. There was one lady, I remember she commented on one of my videos and told me she lived, she used to live in Sri Lanka because her dad was a diplomat. Like what? That's insane. Like, I like what a coincidence and so yeah it was yeah I don't know so it's just it's so cool when people get you like it's just one of my favorite parts okay number eight what is the funniest comment you've ever gotten funniest comment I don't know my subscribers are pretty funny I like to think I'm funny so you know I can't think like off the top of my head if there's anything like super duper funny but uh you know feel inspired to leave me funny comments now okay, number nine is what is the meanest comment you've ever gotten i mean so i feel like my channel is small enough where i don't have to deal with half the drama that a lot of bigger youtubers have to deal with thank god i hope that never changes but you know <laughs> you can't bank on that but um one of the things that i honestly want to talk about is something i did wrong and i didn't realize it at the time but what had happened was I used to do a lot of swatch party videos and at one point I was getting so many new palettes all I had time to do was swatch party videos and somebody had commented saying like can you actually do reviews instead of just doing swatch parties all the time and I like took that comment a little too personally um, and I was just like Ugh, like whatever like forget you person like don't watch then you know and so I screenshotted the comment and I posted it on Instagram and I didn't even realize this person followed me on Instagram and they um I think they commented on back on their comments saying like that was so rude of me and that like they were gonna stop like following me and stuff and it's just kind of funny because you know communication is such a big part of life and I felt so bad because I felt like I had been mean like I wasn't trying to be malicious or make them feel bad I just thought it was like the comment I took it as them trying to be very aggressive when he, I think it was a guy actually and he wasn't trying to be he was just trying to like tell me like hey can you do like can you switch it up a little bit and so I I regret how I handle that situation as far as YouTube goes and so now if, even if I do get a mean comment I always try to come back with positivity because I could just be misreading the comment I could be assuming I know what that person was thinking when they wrote it and I just don't want a repeat of that happening where I take something the wrong way and then hurt somebody else's feelings so if somebody leaves me a mean comment, I always, you know, will try and say like, thank you, or hey, thanks for sharing your opinion or something. Like, I always just wanna respond by being positive or I'll just ignore the comment or I will just block the person because I feel like I'm doing you a favor if you're that upset. But yeah, honestly, I haven't had that many mean comments, but that particular one, I really remember because I felt like I handled the situation badly. Number 10, what other subject matter could you create a YouTube channel about? I feel like I could create a, I think maybe in the past, I could have done like a fashion channel. Um, I would love to have a luxury goods channel. Like I love watching like luxury bag unboxings. Oh my gosh. And like luxury handbag collection videos. Oh my gosh. It's, it's insane how much money people have. Like I just, I just want to know how like how how anyway so yeah i i wish i could have a luxury like handbag channel but i don't have the funds to do that number 11 why did you start your youtube channel i feel like i covered this already but i basically just started it because i i was a marketing major in college it was something i was very interested in at the time social media was very new um to me and just to our generation 
it's been around now for a couple of years not a couple it's been around for like a decade or more so it's a lot more basic for the younger generation now and people are taking classes in social media and stuff like that that did not exist when i was getting a marketing degree so youtube my personal facebook instagram all of those were like experiments and almost part of me trying to teach myself what worked so yeah just something i found very interesting and i just wanted to get into it number 12 what video are you embarrassed by? I don't know that there's anything in particular that I am like, I remember being embarrassed by, but I would say that unbeknownst to me, if I ever made like an error on a brand or a price or a word I was pronouncing, or I ever miss said something, I think that would make me pretty embarrassed because I know I cringe when I hear beauty gurus like mess things up and I'm like, come on, like this is your full-time job. like. Get it right. <laughs> Number 13, what video are you most proud of? I'm always most proud of the videos that I spent a lot of time on. I think sometimes because of my schedule, because I wanna get content out, rush through things. And a lot of the time I'm also filming after I get home from work and I really, like, I'm not gonna put on a full face of makeup after I get home from work so I can film. So I usually film with whatever makeup I have left and sometimes I'm like, Karen, like, seriously? <laughs> like, your face, your makeup looks like a hot mess, like in editing, you know? Um, so sometimes I feel like if I had more time, I could do a better job. But I am most proud of just my rambling videos. I love talking to people. I want to do more videos where I just kind of share, like, life stuff. Not that I'm like, oh my god, I'm so good at life. But I feel like because of the upbringing I had, I have a very um, positive view on life and I feel like a lot of people that are my age or younger than me could really benefit from seeing the world differently and also just like life advice is like if you think you're having a bad day always my mom always kind of made me think of like other people and I come from a country that is so poor and there's such an income disparity. Anytime I feel like, oh my god, my life sucks. All I have to do is think of back home and what life is like for people that have less than me. And it, you know, completely shifts my outlook. So anytime I can kind of bring awareness on issues like immigration. Um, I think immigration is just a big one for me because I... Um, it just hits home for me. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys ever have any questions you can ask me, but I, I think my, I'm an immigrant video was one I'm just like very proud of because I just wanted to help spread awareness of like immigrants. Uh, number 14, what is your first YouTube memory? First YouTube memory. I mean, I remember making my first video like very vividly. I remember seeing... Like, I can see my room in my head, my college apartment. I had, like, posters on the back wall. I didn't have, like, amazing makeup storage. Like, I think I had a basket and all my makeup fit in there. So, yeah, I just have so many YouTube memories. I remember one, one video I filmed where I showed you guys, like, what I was wearing. <laughs> and I was like, this is my skirt. And, like, I used to film on, like, my webcam on my old laptop so just lots of lots of YouTube first memories and just different periods in my life I go back and look um, on YouTube there's a few videos from back in the day when I was living with an ex-boyfriend um, there's videos from when I was living in my old apartment and then me and Rail actually lived in that apartment too before we moved into this house so just lots of great memories that way that's like the another awesome thing about YouTube is there's literally like chunks of my life on YouTube um which I think is cool so someday I uh I don't know how my kids are gonna feel seeing all of that but um yeah it's just been a really fun experience anyway I feel like I'm getting really rambly and this video is gonna be like a hundred years long so I'm gonna stop talking now I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave me comments down below and like I said before, if you are a creator, don't forget to make this video. I love watching tag videos and I'm sure everyone else does too. So I hope you feel encouraged to film this. And again, Hannah, thank you so much for creating this wonderful tag. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.